And welcome back to my channel today. We are going to review the film Janagana Mana directed by Dijo Jose Anthony starring Prithviraj and Suraj. This is part one Janagana Mana that has released and of course the teasers and trailers made a bomb noise. It was absolutely exploding, explosive, exciting and I finally got to watch the movie and I must say this is a very well made film. First things first, the most important part that I liked about the film is the way it is written and directed. The writing is what makes this film unique, makes this film engaging, makes the screenplay engaging. And although if you think about it, it is not something very unique, not something out of the box or anything, the writing and the creative approach to it is what keeps you hooked to this movie. So great job on the writing as well as the direction. I say direction because there could have been many choices the filmmaker that could have made, the director could have made to depict certain sequences, to depict certain scenes, to pick an editing style in terms of what sequence comes first later and make those creative decisions and the characterization as well. But the decisions that the director has made here work very well and again add to that creative element of the movie. Now, a film that is based on a particular topical issue that then becomes a courtroom drama is not something new and then, you know, involves social com political commentary. This is not new at all. And that's why I emphasize that the writing and direction is what makes this a much more engaging and gripping film and narrative to watch. Of course, the film would not work without good performances and Suraj carries the entire first half of the film on his own shoulders along with, of course, the very gripping investigative storyline that keeps you on the edge of the seat as to what happened, what are things being uncovered, how things are going to progress. And then Prithviraj Sukumaran makes the entry and sort of owns the second half in his very unique character and I loved the way that character was written, the, the way he performed and the way he sort of delivered the dialogues that were very necessary to be delivered perfectly. The impact need to be created for all the characters in the movie to deliver those specific dialogues and specific commentary on the socio-political situation, the national situation, everything that is covered and I don't want to give spoilers and it therefore could have gone wrong if that delivery was not perfect. So Prithviraj really got it right the editors got it right. The background music is incredible and adds to that punch of the film. So overall, this is a very well-made film. The film is set up to go into part two. However, I did not enjoy this particular reveal because there were so many things, so much shown in terms of what the second part can comprise of that it's almost felt like we know what the story is going to be. It's going to be about X, Y and Z. I don't want to spoil it. But it's going to be about, you know, all those things that we see towards the end of the movie. And I just felt like they should have cut short on what that mystery is of part two. They could have kept that up. That way people would have been excited. Right now, it felt like a complete film, a complete part one, that it doesn't matter if a part two will be made or not. Right now, that is how it is set up. And that's what I didn't like. I also think that after the major chunk of the film was over, this setup and follow up items took a little extra time and I think that that could have been cut short and trimmed a little because that makes the film feel a little longer than it normally could have been. So getting into a quick spoiler now, spoiler alert, the part two of the movie is set up to show basically Prithviraj's whole journey before he came here in this movie and appeared in front of the court. And all that journey, what he went through as a police officer, what he went through with his personal relations, he must have stood up for justice and done certain things and it didn't work out and he got trapped and it's the same chief minister that trapped him. All that back and forth has already been shown here. So my hope is that that is not really again shown in part two because I don't want to watch that. I don't want to go through the entire journey that we have seen a million times about a police officer being strong and straightforward and wanting to give justice and then is pulled down by a chief minister. So my hope for part two is that it has some very creative and exciting and unpredictable elements so that when we go into part two, we think that it's going to start with Prithviraj's journey and all of that, but it delivers something else altogether. That is the only way I think part two will work if it reduces the time spent on Prithviraj's journey we get it. It was so much was shown in this movie. We don't need more of it, according to me, because we've seen this many times.
However, I'm happy that this film delivered on the entertainment front, on the writing front and a quality film, very relevant sociopolitical commentary. And I hope that part two, whenever it comes out, lives up to the expectations of creativity as well. I am going with three and a half stars for Jana Gana Mana. Let me know your thoughts on the movie. Like, comment, share, subscribe, take care of yourselves and keep watching for much, much more.